there's actually separate sales going on this week for Canada and the US, which is like midway through the script. I mean, these guys don't even put an intro in here for me. Welcome to Netlink Friday edition, guys. And as I said before, there's actually separate sales going on this week for Canada and the US. In the US, it's the DIY sale event, and the feature deal is the Sennheiser PC330 headset. And of course, it's passive aggressively not being scrolled on me now, so that uh, that's that's a nice little way of getting back at me. Lag, Linus, it's lag, all right, jeez. So the PC330 is a gaming headset for $99.99, so that's about $80 off the regular price. I mean, okay, Sennheiser, actual legit quality audio brand. So compared to a lot of gaming headsets, um, you know what? You're probably getting a steal on those for around 100 bucks. In Canada, it's the NCIX Thanksgiving sale event. So that's obviously why there are different sale events in Canada and the US, because in the US it is not Thanksgiving. For our American viewers, yes, Canadian Thanksgiving is on a completely different day. The wheels of our cars are square and our heads go like this when we talk. So. All those things are true. The feature deal is the ASUS Radeon HD7970 DirectCU 2, 3 gig at $269.99. That is a price that is basically a buy it now price because this is basically the same card as the R9 280X, which has an MSRP of $299 and comes with Never Settle Silver because it is now a lower tier card, whereas the 7970 comes with Never Settle Gold, meaning you get three games as opposed to two from the list of ever expanding list of games that AMD is giving away with their graphics cards. Speaking of AMD Radeon, starting today, the new Radeon R7 and R9 cards are available at NCIX. You know, those ones that I just said, you should probably look really closely at the clearance deals on the old cards first. So anyway, that's the 240, the 250, the 260X, the 270X, and the 280X. Don't miss out on those old cards now and be ready for those new cards with their very aggressive price to performance ratios. Well, now. So prepare yourself now for what happens now. And in the news, there have been a slew of stories recently about advances in computer interface technology. First, Elon Musk made the news by having an Iron Man a holographic interface in his lab. A couple days ago, researchers demoed a prototype of a mid-air interface that looked a bit like Tom Cruise Cruise's, see, there are typos, typos in my script, uh, Tom Cruise's display in minority report. Now, finally, researchers at MIT and Max Planck Institute have created a foldable, cuttable, multi-touch sensor that works on nearly any surface. The applications for this tech are obviously huge for flexible wearable devices in the future. I mean, we could be talking about instead of smartwatch, you know, e-ink display with buttons on the side, we could be talking about instead of, you know, when people get sleeves, right, on their arms, like tattoos, we could be talking about sleeves that like, you could like change what they look like and be like, bloop, 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 I need to go sort of here, Google. Google, you know, tell me how to get there, draw like a map on my arm. Can you imagine that? Like map sleeves, walking into the club. Anyway. Everyone's getting in on it. Even Disney's getting in on the action. They developed a touch screen that manipulates minute vibrations to create friction and therefore simulate texture. This might remind you guys of Valve's upcoming controller where they said the haptic feedback is going to simulate, uh, well, well, texture and, and, and response. So we've got very exciting stuff coming. And the good news about that is you can actually then feel the face, you know, and the stubble on your Buzz Lightyear doll if you have one of those. What are the applications for gaming? The script says not much, but I totally think that's incorrect. We could have all kinds of interactive objects that would go along with something like Oculus Rift or Virtuix Omni. Who knows? I expect game devs to have a field day the first time we encounter something like a phone that supports this kind of technology. I mean, if you could actually feel how far back you're pulling on your Angry Birds elastic before releasing it, how much would that increase your immersion? Anyway, guys, that's it for Netlink Daily Friday edition. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, but don't have too much fun now. I know you get. <laughs> Maybe next time you should spell things right and finish your sentence.